then block punch. Pretty much leave your hands there as you step. Now the right hand is the front hand. So that one goes first. I grew up in Worcester. Um, I, when I was younger, I actually was born on Florence Street behind Clark and then moved to Shirley Street and grew up around Clark for a good majority of my life and like didn't move until like right when I was going into middle school. And recently, still now, I only live about like not even a mile away from Clark. I started at um, a really young age. Um, my father started here and one day his teacher looked over and he happened to notice me doing that and so he offered to my parents and three, I was about three and a half when I started. Well, I got my adult black sash around the age of 12, 13, around there. And um, recently now, I am at a first degree black sash. And I've been still training to this day, learning new things. Like there's, it's never ending. Like that's why I never decided to stop. There's more things to learn always. Like, even though despite my young age, like I'm proving myself, like I have, all the requirements and I can show through my performance and through like my maturity that it's like I'm meant to be where I'm meant to be. There's so many like other students in a large diverse population that come here and like I've seen so many many people come and go. It's like all my social skills and learning how to apply different social skills to certain situations with because of the diverse population here has helped me so much. Like I know what to say, when to say it, how to say it, you know anybody and anyone can do martial arts it's nothing that's like oh this specific body type this only men can do martial arts because they're more physically capable not at all the case some of the best martial artists i personally know happen to be women at clark there's so much acceptance for that divergence and it's great to see because it's it's not degrading at all like you can whatever you want to do it doesn't matter who you are they inspire you to do it and that's what I love and that's what I was brought up around here especially. I've always enjoyed watching weapon forms. It's always been interesting. So many strange things that you wouldn't think that would be like an actual weapon but everything here is actually is based off like a former combat weapon and it's, it can be used in reality but just to see like choreographed movements with the weapons can be so just like fantastical and it seems very surreal. I'm a movie lover as well, so like just seeing stuff from the movies literally in front of my face is just absolutely a trip. <laughs> I just think that it's always important to like know where you come from. Like my personal background has led up to everywhere where I am now and being like be the successful and open minded person, like you should just Take what you have and make the best of it. You definitely shouldn't be dwelling on things that like hardships and everything. You just need to take that and turn it around and use it to something towards your benefit. And life becomes a lot easier that way. And Clark is definitely um, a society that embalms that. And it's I love Clark. <laughs> it's like it's my second home, so I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Take it with me, man. Take care of that stuff. Take care of that stuff.